Hi, my name is Jason. I'm 23 years old and I'm from Penang. At Junior Boy TV, I'm an ex intern. Yeah, ex. My internship ended like two months ago, so I don't know why I'm in this video exactly. I cook here and there. I watched a lot of food shows when I was a kid, you know, Bobby Flay. So I guess you can say I'm a natural born chef. So today I'm going to cook carbonara with handmade pasta and I'm going to be competing against Ryan. What's up? Okay, my name is Ryan Yi. You may have seen me, you may not have seen me because don't know. If you never see me, then you never see me. If you see me, then hello. What do I do here at Junior TV? I make video, okay? A lot of video. I direct, I write. I act because they no more budget to hire actor, so free actor. Since Ryan and I are men of culture, we're going to be making authentic Italian carbonara. What is authentic Italian carbonara, you say? It's creamy, but there's no cream. That's the one thing I know. Don't put cream in your carbonara. So today, Ryan and I are going to show you how to make real carbonara the way Italians have made it for hundreds of years so let's begin okay so these are the two ingredients you need to make the pasta two main ingredients you need flour tepung gandum serbaguna huh? serbaguna all purpose yeah whatever purpose you want so you can make cake make roti make a mess wow. we're going to be needing some flour eggs a little bit of olive oil, a little bit of salt. For our carbonara sauce, we're going to be needing some sort of cured protein. The one that is most easily sourced in Malaysia is bacon, parmesan, eggs. So we're gonna make the pasta. Pasta! Have I done this before? No. Am I excited? Yes. I love a good pasta. So don't worry, this is not ice cream. I just put the tepung inside there. Four. No, that's a lot of flour. We're going to make a hole in the center. Let's add our eggs. You gotta salt bake that shit. Some salt. First egg in my take out the white. And just drop the yolk. I'm going to add a splash of olive oil. We're going to beat the eggs. And while we're beating it, we're slowly mixing in a little bit of flour at a time. It's like it's like Tinder, you know, you gotta match them with with the tepong. So you slowly match them with the tepong. You cannot swipe 200 at the same time. Okay? This is not you're not that desperate, yeah? Oh shit, oh shit. Yeah, okay, we're needing this. Alright. Just Ugh. damn it. Oh fuck. Okay, so and there's one thing I forgot to add. Gotta put some olive oil. So it's not too sticky. Slap ass. So wrap this summer my beef. Just let it rest in the fridge for about 30 minutes. Well, clean up this mess. Get changed, get showered. And then we'll continue the rest of our carbonara. Sounds good. As our dough is resting, we'll cut up our bacon. Okay. We need some sort of meat. In this case, I got porchetta. Done. So our next ingredient, we need three whole eggs and two egg yolks. Yeah. Boom. We can add some pepper. Okay, done. That's the sauce. Like that. Huh? Now that our dough is rested, let's roll it up. So make sure that you dust your surface. Since I don't have a rolling pin, I'll have to use this. So, laminating the dough. 
so that the structure is more intact. Okay, so I'm almost done with this piece of dough. And you want to try and get it pretty thin. So how thin? They say you want to get it until you can see your fingers beneath it. Oh shit! Loosely fold it, and then cut it into strips. There you have it. Handmade pasta. Okay, finally, we're done. Is it hard to make fresh pasta? Eh, on a scale of 1 to 10, maybe like 6, 7, but is it a lot of work? Yes! So much work! Anyways, now we're gonna start cooking, so let's go to the stove. First, we gotta prepare this base for our sauce, which is basically eggs. I have two eggs and one extra egg yolk in here. And then, we're gonna pour in our parmesan. Okay. So pour in, stir it in. So this is your sauce. Always salt the water that you're cooking your pasta in. It should be really salty. So you got water boiling here. And right now, I'm just gonna take some porchetta. Oh yes. How much salt do you want to add to your water? Uh, up to you, but I like to make it very salty. Lower setting all the way, and while you let the fat render, you can put in your pasta. Set it on the highest heat and start it cold. That way, you can extract all the fats that you want to be incorporated into the sauce. If you put your sauce in there, you have to turn off the fire now. If you put your sauce in there with too much heat, your eggs will become scrambled eggs. So now we're just gonna. Take the pasta. Goodbye, my love. You take some of the sauce and then pour it all over. Oh, yes. Pasta water. Oh, 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 look at that. Creamy on a ball. I messed up. I was cooking and I wasn't paying attention to the camera and I didn't realize that it stopped working. It stopped recording because my memory card is full. I'm sorry that you didn't get to see me finish the pasta, but yep, here's the end product. It's creamy, it has a lot of bacon, and I hope Jane enjoys it. So on my right, we have the carbonara from Ryan, and on the left, we have the carbonara from Jason. So. Ryan actually sold himself pretty well because he told me that he apparently cooks for his family every day ever since the MCO. Jason, I don't know. I mean like I've only seen him work. I've only seen him eat. I've never seen him cook before. So we're gonna go with the first one, uh, which is Jason's uh, meal. This is basically, it looks like a poor man's banh mi. I don't know. I mean it looks more like banh mi than carbonara. But then again, you got, you got the ca carbonara color and stuff like that. I'm gonna be generous. I'm gonna take a big bite. A bit too salty la. you know, I, the bacon is making it really really salty. At parts it's quite crunchy. I'm not sure why. And it's not the bacon that's crunchy. It's the pasta. So this is Ryan's and first things first, it's still warm. So kudos to that. Uh, considering the fact that he actually sent it to the wrong place the first time and it got here later than Jason's, it's still warm. So not bad. Presentation wise, not bad. You know, it's uh, quite clean. Um, looks very carbonara-like. Alright, well, can't judge a book by its cover, you have to taste it, so I'm actually very excited. I have very high hopes for you, uh. so there's not so much bacon over here. Maybe because if you put too much bacon, it's going to be too salty. So, ooh, I, I can see a bit of cheese as well. I have a feeling they made, they made their own pasta, you know. I have a feeling. I, I'm going to take another bite. Just to be sure, with ba with bacon. Okay, mom, just try both and tell me which one's nicer. Okay. What is this carbonara? Yeah. Salty. 
Mm hmm. Okay. Oh, okay. And try the second one. The noodles in the neck. Huh. Oh. Alright, clever. This is quite bland. This one has more cheesy taste. It's pasta. It's softer. So, if you were to choose, which one would you choose? Then I'll choose this one. What? <laughs> okay. Thank you, Mom. This is rather surprising. I mean, like, you know, you had something over here that looked like pasta, felt like pasta, didn't quite taste like pasta. This one probably tasted too much. The pasta pasta away already, you know what I mean? But the thing is, this one had taste and this one kind of tasted a little bit bland. I mean like the texture is there, you got the bacon and everything but it didn't have that rich taste that everybody expects in carbonara. Jason, you had the carbonara taste but it was just too salty, maybe it's too much bacon. So this round, as much as I was expecting so much for Ryan to win, goes to Jason. Thank you so much for watching guys, uh, this has been fun. Uh, make sure you guys comment in the comment section below. Uh, these guys went all out to make their pasta from scratch. Look out for the next episode.